Delicious, is right around the corner. Wow, it was really right around the corner. This program is being broadcast at a top secret frequency. If you are receiving this transmission, then congratulations! You're officially awesome. You're watching Kid Correspondent. Big news for kids. Hi, welcome to the Kid Correspondent Election Special. I'm Raya, Kid Correspondent. I've put together a super awesome team of super awesome kid reporters. Christian, Ava, Marcus, and Perlene. Together, we're going to learn what elections are really all about. Making decisions. You make decisions every minute of your life. Bam! So many! You decide what to eat for breakfast. You decided to watch the show. Thank you for that, by the way. You're making some really good decisions. But why are election day decisions so important? It's time to ask a grown-up. Hi, Ryan. So the dad of Ryan. So why are election day decisions so important? Well, election day is a bunch of big decisions. Let's say, for example, you'd like to have a, a park in your neighborhood. Well, who's the person who also believes in that? Voting for that person is likely to make that happen. Wow, that sounds like a pretty big deal. That could change your community, could change your neighborhood, could change a lot of things. So that's a big, important decision. Thanks so much. That answers my question. Thanks, Soledad. You keep on being a grown-up. Bye, Raya. When you make a decision, it can affect you and other people, too. And sometimes, more than one decision can be right. What? Perlene wants to find out what the kid on the street thinks. I'm Perlene, and I'm going to find out what hard choices kids have to make in their lives. What was the last big decision you had to make? I had to choose what song I should play on the piano. Whether to watch shows or make s'mores. I had to pick between a soccer final game or a dance competition. Probably the decision to do online learning. What were the results on your decision? I said, yeah, let's let's do online learning because I know I'm safe and I'm also having fun too. I picked dance because I knew that I did soccer almost every day. I tempted s'mores. Because s'mores is like once in a year chance. You don't get it every day. One of our kid correspondents is with someone who's making a big choice. Let's go live with Marcus on the scene. Breaking news, Ava can't make a decision about ice cream. Ice cream, get your ice cream here. How can I help you? Which one do you want? Hmm, maybe I should get the ice cream cookie sandwich because that's like two desserts in one. Or maybe I should get the red, white, and blue ice bar because it's almost election day. The Push Pop ice cream bar. Watermelon. It shouldn't be this hard, it's just ice cream. Do what I did when I was a kid. Use a decision tree. What's a decision tree? It helps you decide on things. A decision tree helps you figure out your options. You write each of your choices on a branch. Then you add the pros and the cons of each option. Once the pros outweigh the cons, you've got your decision. Do you have a decision tree so I can pick ice cream? I sure do. Do you want your ice cream tree yellow or green? Another decision! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Raya, back to you. Decisions, decisions, decisions. My girl, Perlene, found a kid who made a really big decision, and I think we can learn a thing or two from him. His name is Ryan, he's from Maine, and he's an Eagle Scout. If you're an Eagle Scout, you have to do a big project to help the community. Ryan, we got one. Ryan decided for his project, he was gonna help the kids in his city get laptops so they could do school online. He's here with us right now. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Hey, Perlene, really nice to meet you. So tell me, how did you decide to give out laptops for your project? It was a mix of me just being really interested in doing something about computers. I had to really choose between a project that would help a few people versus a project that would help a lot of people. So naturally, I decided to choose the project that would help the most people at a time. I myself have personally loaded software onto about 40 laptops. It really is insane what a community can do. Well, thank you so much for being on our show, and thanks for joining us. Bye, Ryan. Thank you so much for talking with me, Perlene. There you have it, Raya. Yes! That's what it's all about. Because of Ryan's decision, so many kids in his town have laptops now. And they can do online school. Hmm, I'm getting information 
The Marcus has an update. Let's go live to the scene. I'm still on the sidelines with Ava right here, and she is still struggling to make a decision. I've narrowed it down to two choices, the cherry snow cone or the ice cream sandwich. I think this is gonna work out fine and it'll help me make a decision. Yeah, it's really good, cause then you don't have to worry about consequences. Consequences? Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Thanks guys, the decision tree is a great way to help us decide what to do. But are there other ways to make a tough decision? One thing I like to do is talk to my mom. We can learn a lot from older generations, but do not take my word for it, take theirs. Mom, can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. What do you do when you have to make a big decision? I spend some time, think about it, think of pros and cons. I like to sleep on it, and then I put all that together and come up with my answers. So, what's a big decision you had to make lately? Whether to keep growing his beard or not. <laughs> that's not a big question. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. That's, that's a big decision for your mom because she doesn't like it. For example, um, staying in America or moving back to France. You've been talking about that a lot. <laughs> Tell me why voting is a big decision. When you vote, you get to go ahead and choose a candidate that you believe is gonna make the best decisions moving forward for our community and our nation. So are you gonna vote when you get older? Yeah, I think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Affirmative. Okay, I am. All right, yes you are. <laughs> so all episode long, we've learned how to make choices. We talked to grown-ups and we talked to friends. We even got some help from an ice cream man I'm pretty sure I know. Now comes the hard part, making a decision. It can be a little scary. Luckily, there are plenty of amazing kids to show us how to do it. Just like today's Kid of the Week. Kid of the Week, Kid of the Week, it's the Kid of the Week. Marcus has a story. Today's story is about a kid who started his own business. A cool business that helps people. He does it with one egg, a cup of sugar, and a lot of love. Meet Michael, kid business owner. He has always loved to cook, and he's always wanted to help people in his community. When he was 11, he put those things together and started his company. It's a bakery with an extra sweet mission. For every cupcake he sells, he donates another to feed the homeless. How sweet is that? What's extra awesome is that Michael is here with us right now. Hi, Michael. Hello, Ryan. Thank you so much for having me. How did you make the decision that your business would do good? I was just very passionate about having like everyone having access to the same things. So I guess I just always like knew that I wanted to solve some type of problem in the world. Will you bake me a cupcake? Yes, I can definitely make you a red velvet cupcake and you can call it the Riot Cupcake. Michael, you cooked up a business and inspired us all. And for that, you get our Kid of the Week trophy. Here you go, Michael. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to be Kid of the Week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm getting into Marcus has an update. Let's go live to the scene. Ava made a decision, everybody! Wait, I don't know if I wanted this. It's too hard. Did I make the wrong decision? Oh no, it seems like Ava regrets her choice. I gotta find out more about this. Three, two, one. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Raya, thank you so much for calling. Danielle, what happens when you finally make a choice and you think it's the wrong one? We have all been there at one time or another. But you know the great thing about that? If you make a decision and you later feel like it was the wrong one, you can still learn from it. So the next time you're in a similar situation, you make a different choice. And then the decision you made wasn't all bad because it eventually got you to where you needed to be. So you're saying don't feel bad when you make a wrong choice? If you made a wrong decision, no need to feel bad as long as you learn from it. Eventually, it's gonna get you to where you need to go and that'll help you grow. Danielle, I'm really happy I decided to call you. That was a good choice. Me too, thank you, Raya. We all have to make dozens of choices every single day. What to wear? What to do? What to feed your vampire bat. Wait, what? That's not right. Oh, just me? Sorry. Rain Wilson, what are you doing at our pep talk? Oh, I was just watching the episode and I wanted to help out. You decided to help? I did. I made that decision. And with each decision you make, there are consequences. The thing that happens after you make a decision. It's also called the effect. Like a domino falling, because another domino 
fell on top of it. Or a positive consequence, like you made a tiny baseball cap for your vampire bat and he loved it. There's so much at stake. Sometimes I want to decide to never make another decision again. But that's also a decision. But take a breath. <sighs> take a breath. You might make a decision, but then you realize it wasn't the best one. Well, decide to make better decisions. So here's a question for you. What can you do when you have to make a big decision? You can talk it through. You could use a decision tree. You can look to people who have been in a similar situation. But you have to think about it. You know why? The choices we make, make our lives. So make a choice that is worthy of you. And you. And me. And all of us. So when you choose, choose wisely. Talk it through and do the best you can. <laughs> it sounds like a song. Talk it through and do the best you can. Talk it through and do the best you can. Now, before we go, there's one important decision we all have to make. Should we have a dance party or should we have a dance party? Dance party. Meet, 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 meet. Dance away, yeah. So now that we all know how to make decisions, I want to know what happens when I have a friend we don't agree. We'll find out in our next episode. See you there. You can do jazz hands this way or this way. I watched a lot of shows that do jazz hands. No, those aren't jazz hands. These are jazz hands. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe the star just doesn't like being up there. Breaking news here. This seems suspicious. Everyone has the same shoes. <gasps> That's so true. Praline went to a find what out with the kid of the thing. <laughs> All the saying of that word got my tongue on a tie. <laughs> See? <laughs> How do you feel about having to make tough decisions? That's a hard word. Your mustache is fine, man. You're not rolling anymore. Wait, are you on? Wait, train. It's mostly the trains and the trucks that are interfering. Hold on, there's some airplanes going by. Okay, it's gone now. So pancake.